Right. Um, so now this is uh, part three to our video. So we've taken the measurements, we've put those measurements into the standard frame, we've adjusted it, and now it's time <laughs> for Bella to get into the frame. Uh, so we've set out all the standard frames to the measurements that we've just taken, and this is how we get Bella into the frame now. You might have to hoist your child or you might have to do a two uh, person lift, but that's what your, your therapist would be telling you uh, what to do there. So we always start off with our pelvis. So lift up a little bit better and down. So come down a little bit, there we go. So once your child's in the standing frame, the first thing you always want to do is your lap strap uh, and your pelvic strap, sorry. So first thing to do, bring this over. This is your first strap, just like so. Make sure that's nice and snug and pull on that side and pull on that side as well. So I'll just do that again because obviously you just want to make sure the hips are nice and straight and you've got a nice neutral position. Now on the bony bits on your hips there, you should be able to draw a nice straight line between each thumb when you're pointing your fingers on the bony bits. So just there, and if you can draw a nice straight line between your thumbs, that means you've got a nice straight neutral position there. So pull these over, okay? Just like so, and then you've got your clip, and then just do that like that. Then I always move down to the knees, so you've got your knee straps here. So remember, we're just going just below the knee, just below, and then you're going to clip that one in, and then you've got your, your other one here, and you'll clip that one in also just at the side there. And then not forgetting your feet, you've got your Velcro that you can put in and attach. Bella's feet are too big. Like that, you've got two straps there, top and bottom, but where Bella's feet are so big, we can't get those in. <laughs> and then so once you've done your hips, your knees, your feet, we're then moving up to our chest, like so. So this will just come straight over here. But sorry, before I uh, do that, what you want to make sure, you can just about get a finger just down the side here. If you need to adjust that, there's a little Allen key round here, I'll show you. So you do need an Allen key for this part. You can see it there, that little Allen key there. I think it's a four or a five mil Allen key that you need. So that will bring, that will bring your lateral adjustment away or in from the child or up and down. And what I've said before, these always need to be two or three fingers under arm here, so it's nice and comfortable. Cheers, boot. And then just do that up. And again, don't forget, everything has to be nice and tight. All right, can you still breathe? Good. So that's all, all your measurements done there and all set up within the standing frame and Bella's really looking nice. And then what I tend to do is come to the bottom of the feet like this, lay down boo, and have a good look to see if there's anything that else you need to do. But hopefully you're getting a nice straight symmetrical position. Um, and then we're gonna bring Bella up. And how you bring Bella up is just by this pin here. Oh, let me just tighten these up. Just by this pin here, can you see it? Lift that pin. Wait, am I going? and hold that pin and then twist. And then Bella will start to come up. You all right? Like so. Once you're about halfway, I would stop. That pin will just fall back into place. And then I would get your tray and put it in. I always like to put the tray in about halfway just because, you know, when your child's up in this and it's quite high off the floor, it's just nice to have that in front of you so you can relax your arms onto it and have some point of reference. All right. So back to the pin, lift that up and twist and turn it. And then we're up here as well. Um, all depends what your physio has said to you, but and on how far you come up or how upright you do, there is little degrees on the side here that you can see. I would never come completely upright in a supine stander. Um, I'd always leave it off by about 10 or 15 degrees, or even five degrees. Um, but Bella, 
is pretty good and got good head control so we're going to bring her up to about 85 degrees one thing on here is just the headrest if you need to adjust your headrest the best thing to do is undo all three of these here so one two three and then if you just come to the side you can see that you've got full range of movement in the headrest so if Bella's head's there, we want to come. That's right, bring your headrest back. Bring your head back. Is that okay? So then you can come and meet your child's head. Like so. If you need to adjust the, the, the tray at all, it's just this one here. For your um, angle. And the same one on the other side. And that just gives you your angle. You can bring that up or down. And once you've got your desired angle, just tighten that off again. Right, let's move you back and then we can see how you look in front. All okay? There we go. So right, we can see better there, looking good. Um, like I say, everything should be nice and nice and tight. You're not, you're, the first thing you're thinking of is the pelvis, is it in a good position? And your pelvis is done up first and last off when you're coming out. So first on, last off. Right, I hope that's okay for everyone. If you've got any more um, information that you need or little tips or tricks that we can show you, please just give us a, uh, a call or contact us on at hello at leggy.com. Right, say bye Bella. Bye.